Yo, what is up guys? If you guys are interested in winning this Champions Path Lead Trainer Box, head over to the giveaway link in the description below and follow the rules. I'll also put it in the iCard above right here. If you would like a second entry, then follow me on my Instagram, share my post on your story, and tag me in it. This will run until December 24th, 11.59 PST, which is Christmas Eve, and then the winner will be announced on Christmas Day. Good luck to everyone who enters, and on to the video. Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel and hopefully everyone's doing well. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hopefully you guys like what you see and hopefully you guys like the content that I'm providing you guys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We're almost at 500 subs, which would be a huge milestone for me. And then continuing onwards, I'm hoping for the first quarter of next year, we're gonna hit 1K subs. So if you haven't, I'll really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So as you can see right here, we have the Kanazawa Pikachu Pokemon Center box. This box actually goes for quite a bit on the secondhand market like eBay and Macari But without further ado before I get into it Let me actually cut the plastic off and we'll get right into this box So with the plastic off and with minimal glare, let's actually take a look at the box So starting from the top we see a Milotic We see a Goldeen and Aerodactyl with a full moon in the back We see like a shrine up here. We see a Butterfree, Lilligant, Krabby, a Fletchender and coming down we see a Darumaka, we see an Umbreon, Pikachu wearing the little kimono, a Sobble, best starter of Galar in my opinion, a Snowrunt, a Gossifler I believe, and it kind of shows you the contents. And this panel right here should give you a better idea of what we're going to get in the box. So obviously we get the box itself, we get some deck sleeves, we get three promo cards. One is Milotic, the other is Sobble, and the other one is of course Pikachu. And over here we see the packs that are included. I don't know the Japanese names, but then know that this one's like the Rebel Clash, this one's Vivid Voltage, these two make up Darkness Ablaze, obviously Legendary Heartbeat you saw me open up before, and we have Shiny Star V which I'm very excited to open. And on the back, I wish you could read Japanese, but this just gives you another look at the contents of the box. And also on the sides right here, we have this like gold foil design with like the Pokeball pattern. It's the same on the other side, but yeah, let's just slide it out. And obviously we're going to get the same design on the box itself without the text and everything. So this should give you a clearer picture of what the art design is. So let me actually open this little panel up and give you guys a look. So this is what the little artwork is. I think it's such a cool artwork. I love Japanese designs. I love the Japanese art style. And before I open it up, I do want to take a closer look at the box itself. Um, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these boxes, but then on the back panel, we see like this purple um, pink design right here. And on the bottom, it does say Pokemon Center Kanazawa in the same like gold foil pattern right here. But yeah, so let's actually open it up and see what's inside. If we crack it open. And man, like even like look at the presentation that the Japanese company does, like the packs are right here sorted by their sets. We have the sleeves and we have the promo cards. So let's start from the left side and look at the sleeves. So with these sleeves, we're definitely getting the same art design as here, but it's a little bit more compact to fit within the sleeve itself. But yeah, it's a very nice artwork. I love Japanese sleeves. I think the artwork on them is amazing. But yeah, so we're starting off with the sleeves. Next, we'll get into the promos. And for these promos, I would usually try to keep it in like the little plastic sleeve. But because there are three different promos in here, I will open it up. So let me actually cut the top off right here, not try to damage the cards. And I do have my sleeves on deck right here. So taking a look at the cards. So let's move the box up real quick to get it out of the way. And we're starting off with this Pikachu promo right here. And I kind of wish they would include the other Pokemon in the background, like the Sobble and the Gossifleur, kind of like um, Southern Islands, where you see different Pokemon in the background as well. But we're starting off with the Pikachu promo. It is a reverse. And this is different from the Pokemon Center promo. The Pokemon Center promo would have a little stamp on the bottom right corner. But starting off with the Pikachu, this one actually goes for a lot of money. I'm very surprised to see the prices that it's going for on eBay. So starting off with the Pikachu, Next we have the Milotic, and this one is just Milotic itself. There is no Aerodactyl in the background and everything, but this is a reverse as well. And last but not least, we cannot forget about the best starter, Sobble. And this one is a reverse as well in like a blue. So yeah, let me sleeve these promos up. And there we have it, we have all of them sleeved up. So I'm gonna put these in the top left corner right here. And then let's get into the things that you guys care about, which are the packs. And now let's get into the packs, and I don't know about you guys, but this is like so visually appealing. Probably it's just me, but then we're gonna go from top to bottom um, in chronological order. 
ending off with the best set right here. So yeah, let's go from top to bottom and see what we can get. And usually for me, for these Japanese packs, I would try to keep sealed because it's only five packs. It's a lot smaller than the English packs. And also the collector side of me would definitely say that I need to complete the set. So it's a little dangerous game, but then I think eventually in the future, I do plan on finishing these sets eventually, but not at the moment. But yeah, let's start off with this first pack right here. Let me adjust the lighting real quick. But starting off, we have a Hatterene. We have a Heracross, a Barboach. Okay, so I believe that's our holographic. So we got a holographic stone journer and we have a beware. Uh, is that a rare? I have no idea. But anyways, we have a beware. So we do get a holographic stone journer. Okay, on to the next one. And I feel like these packs are so hard to open. Maybe it's just me. So we're starting off with a Luxio, a Masquerain, a Karkul, a Capture Energy, I believe. Don't quote me. And we have a Pelipper non holo Okay, so... I guess it's not guaranteed hollow. I guess that'll be kind of crazy for a Japanese set, but yeah. Our last Rebel Clash set, quote unquote Rebel Clash. And for this one, we have a Chatot, a Electabuzz, Trubbish. Oh, we have a um, holographic Luxray, and we have another Beware non hollow Okay, so that was for the first, um, I guess, set. Moving on to, I believe this one's called Explosive Walker. And opening these packs is so dangerous because now I want to complete the Japanese side of the sets as well, which just means more money, more time, but yeah, so anyways. But we're starting off with a Larvesta, we have a Sentret, a Galarian Mr. Mime, a uh, Parasol, something Parasol, I think, and we have a Muck non hollow Moving on to our second Explosive Walker pack. I think that's the name, right? I'm pretty sure. So for this one, we have Doug Trio, and I believe this art style is Baba, so very notable right there. We have a Bound Sweet, a Fletchender. Oh, okay. All right, we got a Full Art Kabu. Man. And like I mentioned in previous videos, like every Full Art, every Full Art design, um, there's like a special holographic pattern. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is like a checkerboard pattern. Very, very nice. Wow, okay. And we're ending off with a Lunatone non holo But let me actually sleeve this guy up. And here we have it. Man, what a card. And I'm actually glad I'm opening this. Initially, I was going to save the packs and then open a booster box of it in a later video. But then that would just leave you guys with like two sets, the Legendary Heartbeat and the Shiny V. So I didn't want to do that to you guys, so I decided to just open all the packs. And this is our last pack for this set. So we're starting off with a Larvitar, a Carablast, Oh, Komiya Bunnelby, a Heal Bell, I think, and a Serena non holo Moving on to Eternal Darkness something, I think. And for those that are curious, the Japanese packs actually don't have any code cards. It's only the English side. But starting off, we have a Ducklet. We have a Qfint, a Pessimian. Okay, we have a Houndour V. Okay, that's a very nice card. And we have a Flygon. Flygon's probably a top tier Pokemon for me, but very nice. We have a, did I say Houndour? I meant Houndoom. A Houndoom V. Very, very cool. All right, so for this pack, we have a Pansage, a Inke, Gothita, a Pansage? I don't know. I need the names. And a Billowing Smoke. I don't know why I know that, but then that's just the name of the card. All right, and our last pack for this set. All right, so for this pack, we're starting off with a Toxapex, a Rowlet, Starly. Okay, nice. We actually got a holographic sweet coon and we have a Hippowdon non holo. All right, I had to move some stuff around, but we're getting into Legendary Heartbeat. Probably one of my favorite Sword and Shield sets from the Japanese side. And if you haven't watched my unboxing of this, I'll leave it in the i card above. But starting off, we have a Weedle, a Matang, Shuppet, Hollow Lugia, very nice, a Clefable, Opal, and a Bonnet. And I'm going to say this every single time, but I wish that Lugia was made into an amazing rare. I think that would have been really cool to see, but can't complain. There we have it. Hollow Lugia for Legendary Heartbeat Pack. And moving on to our next one, let's get right into it. So we have a Komiya Pineco, Shuppet, Wooper, Hollow Genesect, okay, very nice. A Manectric, a Alistair, and another Bonnet to end it off. All right. And our last Legendary Heartbeat Pack. Can we get an amazing rare? That would be pretty sick if we could. All right, so we have a Yanma, Trumbeak, Beldum, a Tornadus Hollow, a Lycan Rock. I believe this one is called a Aromatic Energy, and we're ending off with a Beedrill, non-hollow, probably uncommon. I don't know why I keep saying non-hollow, but then 
Yeah, so we have a Tornadus to sleeve up and also the Genesect. All right, so three for three. I believe the Legendary Heartbeat set, you're guaranteed a Hollow, so very nice. All right, moving on to the Chonky Boys right here. We have three Vivid Voltage packs or Japanese Vivid Voltage packs. And also, shameless plug, if you guys haven't checked out my Vivid Voltage booster box opening, I'll leave it in the iCard above right there. But we're starting off with a Clobopus, Slugma, a Mightyena. Oh, wow. Okay. We have a Galarian Darmanitan. Jeez, okay. I like the background. It's like a tie-dye background, like the pink, purple, yellow, blue. Very, very nice. Wow, that was unexpected. And we're ending off with a Flareon. I love the evolution artwork um, in this set. Very, very nice. But man, we have a full art Galarian Darmanitan. Wow, okay. I definitely was not expecting this many hits um, within this box, but I'm very happy that I actually am opening all the packs. So yeah, Galarian Darmanitan. Jeez, two more packs left. And then we're getting into the Shiny Star V, which I'm actually very excited for. All right, so we have a Choodle, Talo, Wubat, Jolteon, gotta love the evolution artwork, and a Whimsicott uh, non holo I gotta stop saying non holo because these cards aren't English, but anyways, we have a Skidoo, a Whismur, a Sableye. Oh wow, okay, so we have a Orbeetle V. Wow. I'm actually very surprised we got back to back hits, and we have Leak Staff to end it off. And last but not least, we have four, not three, four. Shiny Star V packs. And if we can pull a God pack in this video, that will be just insane. That will just be icing on the cake. But I believe you're guaranteed a Reverse Hollow. Um, I guess two hits or something, and like possibly a Shiny, so let's see for ourselves. And unlike the previous sets we opened, this pack actually has 10 cards instead of the usual five, so let's get right into it. So we have a Applin, a Zigzagoon, Yamper, a Rusted Sword, I believe that's what it's called, a Haunter, Greedent. Okay, we have a Holographic Duraludon. Okay, so two hollows. Okay, so we have a Holographic Dracovish. Oh, let's freaking go. Let's go. Wow, we actually got the full art VMAX Ditto. Whew. I really want to get the shiny version of this because it is like a sky blue color. It looks so cool. And to end it off, we do get a reverse card, and this reverse is so trippy. I don't know about you guys, but this kind of reminds me of like the rain puddles, like when the rain hits the water and stuff. Very, very cool. Super trippy, I would say. But I love this reverse design. If the English side of Pokemon can implement that, that'll be insane. But we have the Ditto VMAX right there. Great way to start the Shiny Star V pack. On to our next one. And for our second pack, we have a Clobopus, a Snom, forgot the name of the Squovet. A Chairman Rose, a um, Barascuda, um, don't know the name of this. We have a Hollow Hoopa, okay. We have a Hollow Bolton, and we have a Dragapult V, very, very nice. I believe the Dragapult V and the VMAX are pretty playable. And we're ending off with a Hat Hatterene, or Hatrem, I believe it's Hatrem, reverse. Man, I can't get over the reverse design, it's so cool. Our third pack for this set. So for this pack, we have a Mancino, a Milsery, a Gossifler, a Poltegeist, Rusted Shield. Oh, our first shiny, let's go. Okay, so we have a shiny um, double, I believe. It's not Wulu, it's definitely double. But we have a shiny double, very, very nice. Okay, we have a Frostmoth Hollow. Oh wow, so you get a shiny on top of the two hollows. Okay, so we have a Flapple. Wow, we actually got a VMAX as well. This pack is insane. So we have a Rillaboom VMAX. Very nice. And we have a Ndidi Reverse Foil. Can look at this reverse pattern all day. And here we have our final Shiny Star V pack. Can we get something good? Can we pull that Charizard? All right, so we're starting off with a Phoebus, Score Bunny, Dartrix, a Arctovish, I believe, the Ball Guy. <laughs> Another shiny, let's go! I believe this is the Flapple of the other version, the sword version, I believe. Is it called Flapple? Or Appleton, that's, that's the name of it. We have an Appleton shiny, we have a Toxtricity hollow, a Zamazenta hollow, a Ditto V, very nice. We got the Ditto V and also the VMAX, very, very nice. And we have a Galarian Darmaka reverse, okay. 
And before I end off the video, let me actually showcase these cards once again because the lighting was slightly off. But we do have the Pikachu, the Melodic, and the Sawa promo cards. And I do plan on buying a few copies of the Pokemon Center promos, the one with the little stamp on them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing, it was a lot of fun for me to open. And please stay tuned for tomorrow's video on Christmas Eve, where we'll be opening up a Shiny Star V booster box. So that's going to be a lot of fun to open, so please stay tuned for that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate everyone who supports my channel and also watches my videos. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and turn on the bell notifications for future videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.